Hole 1, par 4, 303 yards. A benign start to your round, but don't let the yardage fool you. Play your tee shot about 200 yards, which will leave a short iron into a difficult green. The green slopes away and to the right as you approach the green. Avoid the large front bunker on the left. Back right location of the hole is the easiest to get to. All others just get on the surface and two putt and you'll be off to a great start. Hole two, par three, 160 yards. Choosing the correct club is key to making par on this great golf hole. Too short and your ball will roll back down the approach. Too long and you might as well as put an X on the card and go to number three. Hole three, par five, 555 yards. One of the great par fives on the south shore. A drive which goes downhill with a second shot and a third shot having to climb back up the hill to an elevated green, which will accept only the most solid of shots. A receptive green which slopes from back to front and very steep. Do not go over this green. One has to work extremely hard to salvage a two putt when you are above the hole. As in most cases here at South Shore, stay below the hole. Hole four, par four, 333 yards. A nice breather after the difficult third. Pick a club to leave yourself about 100 yards to the hole. Stay straight off the tee or the tree guarding the left side of the green will hinder your approach. A back to front sloping green awaits the shot. Better once again to remain underneath the hole location for your best chance at salvaging par. Hole five, par four, 403 yards. A narrow driving hole with out of bounds all the way down the left side. Many times this hole plays dead into the wind, so be extra careful you hit a straight shot off the tee. The green is elevated once again in one of the flatter greens on the course. Play the yardage. The green is fairly large front to back and can be deceptive. Bunkers await the errant shot to the left. Hole six, par four, 420 yards. One of the toughest par fours on the course, blind tee shot. Make sure you wait for the bell to be rung by the group in front of you before teeing off. Slight dog leg left and downhill from the tee shot. Take the proper club for the yardage coming into the green as it it also is slightly elevated. A shot landing short will once again fall back down the slope, leaving a difficult pitch shot up the hill. 
do not go over this green. It is a very difficult up and down beyond the flag, as well as a difficult two putt from above the hole. Hole seven, par four, 384 yards. Very difficult to hit the correct club for your second shot on this severe uphill par four. A very accurate drive is required. Looks wide open, but best to be in the fairway here. Very difficult to advance the ball out of the left rough. Play your tee shot to the base of the hill. Any further potentiality has you on the slope in a more difficult shot. Take an extra club as the shot always seems to play longer than it shows and seems it is always into the wind. Only one bunker on the left side of the green, so come in from the right. A fairly flat surface gives you a better chance to salvage par. Hole 8, par 3, 201 yards. A very picturesque downhill par 3 and close to 200 yards. Dangerous hole with woods all the way down the left side and a green that is situated between two green side bunkers. Another fairly flat surface and receptive to any shot coming from the high elevated tee. Many a par has been made by laying up just a bit short of the green and chipping on as more trouble is pin high and beyond. Hole nine, par five, 503 yards. A risk and reward par five. The long hitters can go for this green in two with a nice tee shot. A brook cuts across the fairway about 20 yards in front of the green, so make sure you take the correct club and hit the ball solid if you are going for it in two. Those who take the normal three-shot approach can find this hole to be forgiving as long as you stay clear of the brook. Two good shots will leave you a short iron into another receptive green, sloping back to front slightly. Out of bounds lurks behind the green, so don't lift your head on that approach. Hole 10. Par four, 321 yards. Another short par four, but this one climbs uphill. Play a club which again leaves yourself 100 yards, which also will leave you the best angle to approach this heavily guarded green. The shot plays a bit longer seeing it is uphill and the green can be tricky Best once again to leave yourself an uphill putt and to come from the right side. This green can get really fast downhill and also from the left. Hole 11, par three, 185 yards. A terrific par three one of the flattest greens on the course. A well-guarded green with bunkers on the left and right. Club correctly here is over the green is jail and long and right is walk to the next tee material. Same as number eight, many a par has been had with a short approach and a good chip and a one putt for par. Hole 12, par four. 378 yards. One of the best par fours in the country. Not a bunker on the hole, and it is one of the most difficult holes to par around. An elevated tee shot to a tiny landing area 
with the ball bounding both to the right and to the left. The further you hit it on this hole, the more danger as the fairway comes to a tight hourglass shape longer off the tee. Drive your ball in the area of 150 yards to the hole and you will find the widest part of the fairway. It isn't easy from here as the next shot requires all carry to the putting surface. A shot just a bit short and the ball will roll 40 yards down the hill. Hole 13, par 4, 405 yards. Just grip it and rip it for this tee shot. Stay down the center or center left for the best approach into this tiny, most difficult green. Another elevated shot, which is very unforgiving. A bit short and it runs back down the slope. A shot just left finds the heavy rough leaving an almost impossible chip and long on this hole spills bogey at best. Stay beneath the hole on this approach shot if you can. This is one of the most sloped greens on the course. Hole 14, par four, 330 yards. Not a long par four, but narrow with out of bounds down the left side and a brook all the way down the right with a pond directly in front of the green. Play a club off the tee, leaving you 100 yards and a short iron approach. Make sure you club properly and make solid contact. The green is sloped slightly from back to front and will accept an iron approach. On paper, a short birdie hole, but one that will test your nerves, trust your swing, and take dead aim. Hole 15, par 5, 569 yards. Another good test of golf, especially from the back elevated tee. A dogleg right without a bounds down the entire right side. Don't bite off too much of the dogleg or you could be stuck in the rough. A solid second shot should leave you anywhere from 150 to 100 yards. The approach needs to be accurate as the green is well guarded with bunkers and a large drop off to the right of the green. The green is small and tricky, but not the toughest on the course. Most putts on this green can be made. Hole 16, par 4, 384 yards. Another dynamite par 4, especially into the wind. Woods all down the left side off the tee shot with the ball bounding towards the trouble, so aim right. A shot sliced to stay away from the left trouble could be lost in the right wilderness. Your approach is as if you were playing the old course at St. Andrews, having to bump and run the ball in from the left if you want to get it close. A lone bunker awaits an errant shot to the right along with some treacherous mounding. Hole 17, par 3, 160 yards. What a great short hole. An elevated green, which is two-tiered. Hole locations on the bottom level can be had, but the top tier locations are extremely difficult. 
Most shots off the tee settle in the bottom area, making a difficult two putt to the top location, but a smart play. Hole 18, par 5, 476 yards. What a gorgeous view from atop the 18th tee. Don't let the view lull you into a false sense of security. This relatively short par 5 has many more bogeys per day than pars. Out of bounds stretches all the way down the right side. Aim at the American flag and let the ball gingerly drop to the right off the slope. Now the fun begins. Do I go for the green or lay up? Either way, it must get airborne as a brook cuts across the entire fairway. Heavy rough awaits an errant second or third shot right of the green. This green is the absolute toughest green on the course. It slopes big time from back to front and promises to be an automatic three putt when you are above the hole. It is far better to be short on your approach and work your way up the green than being above the hole. Many a round has been ruined with a brilliant drive, a superb second to 15 feet above the hole, and sadly putting five or six down on the card. <laughs>